What is the best source of DHA for vegetarians? Now, I've, I've talked about this a lot in the past, but it bears repeating since the question comes up you know, over and over and over again. As you know, uh, I was a professor at Loma Linda University for many, many years, uh, and it's a vegetarian and vegan institution. So I have a, a quite a large practice in vegans and vegetarians. Now, DHA is one of the two long chain omega-3 fats. The other one is EPA. Now, normally we can take short chain omega-3 fats like are in flaxseed, for instance, and we should have a system of enzymes that can couple one short chain omega-3 fat with another and then another and then another and you get eventually a very long chain of omega-3 fats which are DHA and EPA. Now our brain uses DHA, about half of the fat in our brain is DHA and interestingly enough the hippocampus, the memory areas of our brain, are full normally of DHA and there's very good evidence that the more DHA you have, the bigger your memory centers are, and quite frankly, the bigger your brain is. Unfortunately, our enzyme system in humans is lousy for taking short chain omega-3 fats and making DHA. We're not a fish. A fish has an incredibly efficient system of taking short chain omega-3 fats and making them long chain. That's why fish oil is full of DHA and EPA, and not so much of the other little short chains. And I've studied DHA levels in probably thousands of vegans now, and they're profoundly deficient in DHA, even though they're taking flax oil capsules and they're taking flax meal. That's because they don't convert it. So the good news is we now have a number of companies that make algae-based DHA. There's even now some that have algae-based DHA and EPA. And so now there's no excuse for a vegan to be deprived of the proper amount of DHA. And having said that, you want to try to get about 1,000 milligrams of DHA per day into your diet. A lot of the vegan DHAs are 500 milligrams, so two of them will do it. But whenever you buy the package, read the back. Look for serving size. Sometimes they'll try to fool you and they'll say two, ser serving size is two, and then you look down below and you see 500 milligrams, you say, oh, you know, uh, that's great, uh, there's 500 milligrams. Well, you'd have to take four of those to get 1,000 milligrams. So 1,000 milligrams of algae-based DHA, the problem is solved. Thanks for watching. Click the circular channel icon to subscribe and make sure you don't miss a single video.